We're just days away from the NHL free agency officially kicking off, and we have some New York Rangers news. The New York Rangers sent out qualifying offers to four restricted free agents. Libor Hayek, Kapo Kako, Tim Gettinger, and Austin Rueshoff. Rueshoff, right? Rueshoff. Now, on the other hand, they're not qualifying for RFAs. There are four players that the Rangers are letting go and not giving qualifying offers. Justin Wall, a goaltender, Justin Richards, Ty Ronning, and Jacob Elmer. Jacob Elmer just could not stick to the AHL roster. Tyler Wall had really bad numbers in Hartford as well. Couldn't really find his game in the ECHL either. Believe it or not, Igor Shosurkin is the only goaltender in the New York Rangers organization who has played an NHL game. Keith Kincaid and Adam Huska are UFA. So right now the Rangers only have one goaltender who has NHL experience. I think that's just kind of funny. Ty Ronning just couldn't crack NHL time either. And Justin Richards as well. But for the guys that the Rangers are keeping, I like Tim Gettinger. I've always liked his size. Not sure if he can maybe crack the bottom six this year. That's if the Rangers sign him. Feels like Tim Gettinger has been in this organization for so long. He's only 24 years old. He had 25 points in 45 games for Hartford last year. Libor Hayek is a guy who, I don't know how he got qualified, but he's getting qualified. And who, who knows if the Rangers are going to re-sign him. But if they do, I'm sure he'll be fighting for that seventh defenseman spot. Rueshoff had a big jump in the AHL from the year before to this past season. I'm assuming that's why the Rangers are taking a crack at him, possibly trying to re-sign him as well. A good depth player for the AHL, which is always good for the development down there. And now to the big fish, the guy who you've probably been waiting for, Capococco, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest with you. I'm probably going to make a completely separate video when the rumors are circulating, if he's going to get traded, if his rights are going to get traded, if the Rangers are going to sign him. I'm expecting the Rangers to sign him. I don't think he'll get more than $3 million a year. I'm hoping the Rangers could lock him down for two, like they did Heedle. Three years would be incredible, but I'm thinking it's going to be a two-year, around two and a half, maybe even less per year. I don't think he deserves any more than that. I'm not giving up on Capococco yet. I'm happy the Rangers are qualifying him. Obviously, that's a huge deal. You retain his rights. I think it's a smart move by general manager Chris Shuri. He's got a lot of work to do in these next couple weeks. Who's going to be the Rangers number two center? If you want to watch that video on who I think can be the Rangers number two center, just click right above my shoulder. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I will try to get to as many as I can. Subscribe if you guys are brand new, and I'll see you guys later.